Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths. I'm Menti, and this is episode 117 of the Battleship Brawl Season 5 Tournament. This episode, we've got the New Hampshire by Ferrum 4, going against the Spirit of an Era by Drew. Go ahead and slip the camera back into position, and away we go. Looks like the uh, New Hampshire's having a little bit of trouble actually landing shells in the beginning here. Getting some uh, collateral, you know, explosive damage from timed shells going off it looks like. Or maybe altitude, but... Oh, that's a pretty solid shot heading right to the middle of the New Hampshire. New Hampshire really only taking minor damage though, but... HP value is currently quite similar between the two ships. Looks like the New Hampshire is repairing much more quickly though. It is burning through its materials. And yet, despite how quickly it's using materials for repairs, the spirit is still uh, maintaining a slight lead. But that might change now that this front turret's been disabled. Yeah, losing a gun. Oh, and another, and that turret pops off completely. That that is a turning point for this battle, that's for sure. Oh, looks like the spirit has gone dead in the water now. But given its rear guns are the only ones that are still functioning, it's not going to hurt it too much for the moment, but, uh... It is taking some serious hits to that gun there. I'm surprised that turret is still attached and it didn't just pop off after taking all those hits. I mean, it's disabled. But it already was. I'm surprised the internals didn't get ripped up enough to just disconnect the turret cap. Oh, wow. Basically a perfect shot in through the side. Wish I could see exactly what happened, but still blocked by smoke. You can see, those shells got in there before they detonated. Because there's like no, there's just the holes of the, the just the uh, the entrance wounds, and then the explosion was basically completely contained inside the ship. And probably a good chunk of the turret. Well, the New Hampshire is officially out of materials. Its score will not improve any- well, its HP will not improve any further. Its score can technically improve by doing damage to the enemy, but its score via its own HP cannot get any better than it is. The Spirit was putting up quite a fight if its guns had survived better. Oh wow, that was a complete... Did that shell over-penetrate and not detonate, or did it manage to actually just fly through a gap and not hit anything? <laughs> had to have. There's no way that there isn't, like, time after impact or fuses or something like that on a Ferrum ship. Oh, 
Mount Spirit at 75.7%. It is getting low on materials as well. Most of its guns have been disabled. I think it's got these three barrels right here left still. Yep, those three barrels are... that's it. Enough shots were aimed at the superstructure, was, which is kind of a waste. Some unfortunate target selection there. Looks like those might be heading for this gun. Yep. A couple hits into the hull here, but uh, it took damage but protected the gun. Looks like the spirit may be able to survive to the five minute mark. It's at basically 65% HP and 40 seconds left on the clock. Ooh, if it gets broken in half though, that won't happen. We would need a lot of shells to land in this area for that to happen. Yeah, see, there's definitely some sort of time after impact or something, because that thing went off after it hit this. So that one shell we saw go through earlier, literally just passed through this hole right here. <laughs> without touching the spirit. Alright, oh, that last shell got real close there, but time is up. So it's 88.8 .8 for the New Hampshire. I think it was 58.4 for the Spirit. Yes, I remembered. Alright, so that's the end of round one. Go ahead and get this restarted. And we'll get into uh, round two. I think if the Spirit's guns can stay alive a bit longer, like, it has the potential to give the uh, New Hampshire a pretty solid fight but the New Hampshire's guns are seem to be pretty good at penetrating the spirits hull and uh, taking those guns out when they're aimed properly but we'll see that first round was a pretty solid victory for the New Hampshire Initial volley of three lands, and the follow-up volley, uh, no direct hits, I don't think, but the explosion may have ripped off some slope blocks and stuff back here in the fan tail. Or is that even technically a fan tail? It's the stern of the ship. <laughs> I'm not sure what the actual technical definition of a fan tail is. There's the big difference. The spirit landed a couple of good shots right here on the hull, right where the uh, the gun is. Wasn't able to get in there and uh, take out the actual weapon. Whereas we saw in the first round, if it gets a pretty much flat angle and hits uh, and hits you know accurately like that. Yeah. Or just like that. Just like that. The New Hampshire's guns. If they hit in the right spot, they just get in there and blow it up. The spirits, uh, the spirits armor does not hold. Against the New Hampshire shells. Even so, the New Hampshire is technically losing right now. 
Not by much, but it is behind. And that's with a superior repair rate. close to taking out this rare gun here but even with a gun down the spirit is ahead in HP oh but that might be a second gun down those shells did not actually manage to get in there almost like we can see the turret pieces but I bet you that was because the hull was angled slightly Angle of impact can do a lot to negate kinetic, uh, kinetic damage in both, you know, real life armor stuff and in from the thing. Let's check in on the New Hampshire. It is, it's losing by 5% right here. Oh, it lost a gun. One of its main guns has been popped off. That probably contributes uh, quite a bit. It's behind by a good 6% almost, and just ran out of materials. So it will no longer be repairing. So unless something changes, that gap is only going to widen. Uh, Spirit's got a 14% lead now. Like I said, that gap widening now that the New Hampshire is unable to repair. Having this turret popped off was probably uh, the key thing there. I'm not even sure how it was. Whatever damage caused it, it, it was probably repaired. Spirit still Oh wait this this turret has been disabled now. So the forwardmost and rearmost turrets are functional, but all the other ones are uh the other two are disabled. Oh well and then the forward turret just got disabled on the on the spirit. Took a direct shot to the face and that was that. I mean, these are technically firing little mini cram shells, but, uh, yeah, they're not going to do a whole lot. Wow, that one actually almost hit. Those little bitty cram shells, like, they almost never hit because they move so slow. And then when they do, they do nothing. Because when ships are armored against, you know, the big gauge guns, those little pencils aren't going to do anything. <laughs> yeah, if this, 
if this was a 10 minute match, I think the New Hampshire would get sunk. But it's only a five minute match. So there we go, 67.6 for the New Hampshire and 80.6 for the Spirit. So, um, right, it doesn't calculate the score until I have all three of them in there. But the average HPs are only six apart right now. So, New Hampshire uh, has the advantage going into round three. Will it maintain it? That is the question. First round was all about the New Hampshire, pretty much. It started out as about the Spirit, and then the New Hampshire's like, nah, I'm taking over. Then round two, the Spirit's like, nah, 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 I'm not having any of that. This is not going to be a curb stomp. I'm going to give you a real fight. And now we're in round three. We'll have to see how this goes. Direct hits to this turret already took down a barrel in like the, the, not the very, very first volley, but the first actual volley, the first effective volley, takes out a barrel of one of these turrets here. That'll probably get repaired though. I think it already has, yep. <laughs> that's, that's expensive. Raining the, uh, the New Hampshire's materials is not a bad strategy. Even if the even if a ship's capable of repairing its main guns, it's so expensive to do so that targeting them is still your best option. Oh my, New Hampshire is dead in the water. That's gonna make maneuvering and avoiding shells a lot more difficult. Not that the uh, New Hampshire was particularly dodgy to begin with, but... It is never good to be dead in the water. Spirit has about a 4% HP lead right now. All of its guns are still intact. I don't know why the game is suddenly running a bit slower and we've lost the, uh... What you call them? The, uh... Why can't I get the contrails? I can't think of the word. I know there's a specific word I usually use to call them, but my brain is just... It's like, nah. Nah, you don't want to remember that word right now. Anyway, you guys know what I mean. New Hampshire is behind by over 5%. And its materials are dwind dwindling. This isn't looking a lot like round 2, but oh, there are a couple of good hits on this gun here. Looks like three of the barrels may have survived, though. Ah, oh, this forward gun is disabled. Or, it might just be out of its firing arc. That is kind of steep back, you know. I'm not sure if it's disabled or just out of its arc. I think it's just out of its arc, because I don't see any di disabling damage on it. Well, that gun is disabled now. <laughs> See, the angling saved it. It wasn't much of an angle, but it's an angle, and, well, never mind. The angling did not continue to save it. And suddenly the spirit is behind, and it has lost half of its armament. Over half, technically, since it does have a disabled barrel over here. Oh, and that turret just got to say, oh, ugh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> this 
battle is probably going to be close enough that the vote's going to decide things. Or that the vote will be able to swing it in, uh... Yes, I should say the vote should, would be able... Would be possible to swing it in the spirit's favor. Because, uh... It's definitely looking like the New Hampshire is going to win the actual combat. Because there's no way the Spirit is going to repair a single one of these guns, let alone three of them. But the New Hampshire is out of materials again. And still dead in the water. So it's possible it could end up getting, like, a uh, distance DQ'd or something. If its recoil pushes it out of bounds or something. We've seen crazier things happen. It has lost a turret of its own up here. So neither ship is in great shape. Is that the same turret it lost in the first round? I believe it is. Or not the first round, the second round, the previous round. Pretty sure that was the turret the New Hampshire lost in the, in the second round. HP difference. Granted, that 6% is now... Oh, the spirit has lost all of its guns now. And she's listing kind of badly and a bit low in the water. Gonna hold on for 35 more seconds. If the spirit sinks here, it might not have a chance in the vote. It probably will. The scores were close enough from the first two rounds. That sinking here won't make it impossible, just unlikely. The Spirit is going to have to win the vote by an overwhelming margin to claim victory in this match. So yeah, make sure you head on over to the Discord to cast your vote. And otherwise, thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the battlefield.